Hello, welcome, let's get right to it. I wanted to make a video on Solra logistics and how to effectively do Solra over and over again. Um, kind of how to farm Zolra, how to get your pipeline kind of set up so that you can reset quickly and um, go back into the fight. I'm not gonna focus too much uh, for, uh, on the actual fight itself, the mechanics of the boss or anything like that. I'll touch on that a little bit, but this video really isn't about the boss fight mechanics, more so about kind of what you should do beforehand to get started for your grind. I'm going to speak from the perspective of an Iron Man. I'm a group Iron Man. Um, so what you want to do first, let's go over the gear. You want to do your gauntlet grind first. Get your Bofa. You want to do Dragon Slayer 2 first. Get your Assembler. And you want to do Monkey Madness 2. Get your Suffering. Possibly get your Anguish. And that way, this is your core kind of gear. Um, you definitely don't need the pegs. And after you do the gauntlet grind, you'll have enough money to upgrade your house. We'll go over the house in a second. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the gear. This is the inventory. Um, we got a rune pouch to teleport to our house. Two prayer potions, two anti-poisons or antidotes. These are our boosts. Definitely don't want, you don't need the heart at all. Five cram ones, or excuse me, five manta rays and the rest cram ones. Okay, so let me just show you the loop really quick before actually doing the loop. So we're gonna um, use our Dreven Staff, go to use our Fairy Ring. I think you need like 65 construction for this. Not that big or not that high. So you're gonna go into um, Zolro's Lair at 76, definitely want 76 agility. You're gonna do Zolro a couple times with this uh, inventory. You can probably do it two or three times depending on how lucky you get. And once you're done, you're kind of bruised and battered, you're gonna teleport out back to your house and then you're gonna to go to Ferox Enclave and then you're gonna reset that way. So that's the loop. So now I'm gonna actually execute the loop. Um, yeah, so let's just actually do it now. We're gonna pot up. Again, don't need the heart, but I will use it because I have it, so. Okay. Now, if you have Zolt Andra teleports, absolutely just use those. Um, if you have thralls, you can bring thralls. I just hate the house tele tabs. Um, making them, I just, yeah. I don't really want to use house tele tabs, so. But you can if you want, if you can bring thralls. Okay. So the fight itself, let's talk about it a little bit. So that's five hits. You can only get five hits on the first phase. Okay. Now, the key thing to remember here, that's two attacks, three attacks, four, five. He's going to hit you five times and then you can take your prayer off. As soon as you see these clouds go away, just move here. Keep an eye on those clouds, and when they move, then you can just move up. This phase, you can't really damage much, so I like to kill this snakeling at the very end there. Now, I notice my HP is a little bit low, so I'm going to eat up. Also, take an antidote. Definitely want this plugin, by the way. <clears throat> so as Zalra goes down, that's when you want to eat. <clears throat> we don't need to eat right now.
the biggest thing with Zora is as long as you can rotate to the next spot. So now I need to rotate that way. So as long as you can just remember to rotate, that's pretty much like and eat while Zora goes down. That's the core of Zora basically. Knowing when to move to the next spot and then not freaking out and eating when you don't have to. Like, when your HP goes down, don't eat right away. Wait for Zora to go down first. Obviously, if your HP is like 40, then you want to eat. But if your HP isn't like 45, don't bother eating. Just hit Zora. Unfortunately, we got the same phase. But that's three attacks, I believe. Four... Five, okay. Now we can take that off. And then we're going to move up once the cows go down. Okay. With the poison, you kind of just, when it's eight or ten, just pick your kind of, um, yeah. Yeah. Either or, when it's 8 or 10, just eat up, I guess. Or, sorry, drink up. So now I gotta know, so I know I'm gonna have to rotate this way, so. And I know this phase doesn't attack us because there's no prayer here. So I can just attack Zora. Three, four, five. That's it. Can't get more than that. Okay, the red phase is actually my least favorite. But with this guy, all you're going to do is as soon as you attack once, then you just move. Because the poison clears right away. And you can only get three attacks this phase. Two, three, four, five. You can take your purr off. You can attack this guy. And Solra goes down. You can attack this guy as well. The red phase, you can't really hit much, so you might as well attack the snakelings. You can also do that um, to heal fast. You can kind of ticky. So you eat the Manta Ray first, and then you eat the... Um, around one so I think that was three kills I'm gonna risk it try to see if I can get uh, oh crap if I didn't eat that poison then maybe I could have but it's very doubtful that I can get another kill here Hopefully it's going to be another phase so that I can commentate the other phase. 
I believe the one that we didn't do is blue phase here. Okay, nice. So, crap, I didn't. Crap. So, one thing you'll notice is I'm not praying immediately. That's what I kind of meant to do there. I didn't pray immediately. Like, I didn't pray magic immediately. Now the clouds are gone, so I'm going to move here. I'm going to try to commentate this as much as I can before I dip. Um, but I have to dip, actually. Unfortunate. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to assume you don't have this, so I'm going to go to Ferox Enclave. And then basically reset that way. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's hope for the blue phase. I wanted to kind of include that in the commentary. Okay, so the blue phase. Notice how I'm not immediately turning on my Protect from Magic. Now I'm going to turn it on. So he's going to attack with four Snakelings first. You don't have to turn on your Magic Prayer immediately. I'm going to attack with that and you want to rotate. So as soon as those smoke, uh, those clouds cleared, that's when I rotated. And again, he's not going to attack me immediately. He's going to attack this one, two, three, four snakelings, and then he's going to attack me. So that's when I begin to attack, or begin to put my prayer on. And I can rotate like this. I can attack this guy in the meantime. And that's the blue phase. 